Welcome back to my channel, this is Navish Games. In this video, we'll be checking out the very basic configurations of the Tomb Shader in the latest version of Apache Barking. I'm going to use Link model from Breath of the Wild for this tutorial and here's how the FBX model looks without the Tomb Shader. This is obviously not what we see in Breath of the Wild. Before we start, uh, these are the textures that have been linked to this model and this is a matte cap texture provided by Melon Toucan. You notice that we have so many repeated pictures here. The ones with the darker tunes will actually be used as the shading maps. These are not necessarily needed, but we'll be covering them in this tutorial anyway. All right, let's first import this model to Barking. Now we're in Barking, we click on Resources, 3D Stamps, and add a new stamp. Click on Local and double click the FBX file to edit. This is exactly what we saw just now. Next, uh, we're going to make him appear as the kind of cartoon style in Breath of the Wild. We go to Materials. Uh, so there are all the materials this model contains. Now if we press and hold shift and then select all these material files, we can make changes in bulk. Select the tune sheet, give it a second and let's check how the model has changed. He already looks pretty different, but I'm not satisfied yet. Right, we're going to give each of the materials an outline with a unique color. Switch on the use outlines. Now there's a black outline there. However, the line appears so thick that it will almost destroy the art of our model. We come back to materials. Scroll down a bit. Change the outline type from world to screen. So the outline thickness will be based on the screen instead of the whole map now. Let's change its color. Um, we will select a color that's close to the skin color but we need it to be slightly darker. Now let's check how it looks. Oh, one thing I recommend is that you set the outline thickness as 1.5, which will give your model a better look. Similarly, I will pick up a unique color for the rest of the materials. As we can see, the sleeves share the same material as the blue cloths, so uh, we can't really set the color as blue. Instead, I would use a color that's between blue and green, let's say a sage green, shall we? Now we perfectly balance the color. Good. Next, uh, we select all the materials except the eyeballs, and we are adding matte cap to them. So we find the cell shading texture provided by Melon Toucan and at its full roll. Hold a second, there. We can see the materials become over bright. This is because the meters are set too high. Change the number from 1 to 0.03. Now you can see the texture appears mildly on the materials, making it look more cartoon. Now I'd like to place a link on the map. Oh no, the color looks too dark. It was because I applied a vintage light before. Um, let's change it to... Deep Tone. Maybe Contrast 1. Yeah, definitely better now. Another problem, this link doesn't even have a motion yet, uh, so he can't really move. Let me add a preset motion file. Right, so this was the preset motion file downloaded from Mixamo, uh, so it doesn't contain any mesh information yet. And we link it to this link.
All right, he's now alive. One more thing, let's add those shade maps to the model. Go back to materials, and in the Tune Shader setting, we can see the shader map option. Let's find the darker texture pictures. Um, yeah, so uh, they need to match the shallower version of the pictures. Well, these would give the Tune Shade a root uh, to place the shade, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we also need to set the shading color darker. I'll do the rest one by one. Notice that we've still got some normal maps there. These are the things to give an embossment effect. Right, see the difference? This would look more obvious if we were not using a Toon Shader. If you haven't got any of the normal maps, you can make one by yourself. So you search on Google, type normal map online. And you can drag your texture here. Then download this purple one. Okay. We have done pretty much everything with the materials. Finally, we still need to adjust the lighting on the map to maximize the shading effect. Adjust the light color. Set the intensity as one-ish. Adjust the shadow cast angle until your ceiling's face is lightened and the shadow cast uh, is right behind him. Well, how do you think he looks now? Okay, let's give a test play. Thank you for watching, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in our next tutorial.